Okay, so um, tonight's radio lesson is in the kitchen, and you might sort of go, well, that's kind of a bit strange, but um, <laughs> I've got a microwave which is um, just not heating, not doing what it should do, and um, we've tightened up a few bits and pieces on it. Um, the, the greatest check we can do is with the magnetron is have a look with the spect spectrum analyzer and just have a bit of a look at exactly what it's doing. So what we've got in there now after tightening up a few bits um, is a uh, Whirlpool, um, what is it, a JQ280 and um, what we're going to be looking for is whether or not we're getting anything up around 2.4 gigs where the, uh, the magnetron works. Now so far we've got some intermittent responses from it which is great but that's not exactly what we want so let's just uh, stop there for a minute and what we're going to do is we're going to jet start it up to about two minutes so I've got a cold cup in there and what we're doing is we're just sort of monitoring at the moment to see what's happening now our range at the moment is um, uh, 60 megs over the 2.4 meg area and um, as you can see I'm getting a nice big burst now before what I was getting was some very intermittent little spikes which um, were not quite what we want. Um, just a bit of caution when you're playing around with uh, microwaves, uh, they are dangerous um, and these are not for the faint hearted. Uh, if you get to the stage where you need a magnetron, maybe talk to someone who does it every day of the week because you know setting one up etc needs to be done correctly and um, whilst we've got the equipment to do it here, um, I don't do them every day. Um, and uh, <laughs> we're just having, yeah, Sam reckons you're getting a new microwave. But so, what we're doing at the moment, we're spanning through, we're just starting our span. You'll see it as it comes along, and we're just going to see whether it replicates what it did last time. Look at that. See these, look at that, the way that the spikes change. Now, that to me looks like a very worn magnetron in the fact that it's changing so much. It, it just could be bad contacts, it could be a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. Um, this this could come out you know beautifully we'll see um, you will get microwaves are not exactly you know fluent RF transmitters that give you exactly on you know this pass and it'll do exactly the same on the next pass um, and I'm using a um, really sort of rude and crude setup at the moment with a whip sitting up here that's you know tuned for two meters so you know I obviously could be using something that was a little bit closer to the frequency but if you're just looking for a bit of a broad stroke look at whether or not your microwave is doing anything, getting your spec an out to have a bit of a look at it. It's a great first stop because you, you're really just having a look at, um, you know, part of the things that you do is you go through and say, all right, is all my digital working? Like, uh, does it work on grill? Does it work on crisp? In this case, it won't work on crisp because it needs the magnetron for that. On grill, it just has an element um, and, and that's fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers, finger. Okay, so that's, you know, that's boiling hot cup of tea stuff, which is great. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to keep doing it. Okay, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just going through and I'm setting the microwave manually and I'm saying, all right, what have we got here uh, up to 950 watt? Now, nine, nine times out of 10, everything's 950 watt, so that's fine. Uh, but, you know, depending on what you're cooking, sometimes you want a slower cook. Um, I'm in no way a, um, uh, a genuine cook who knows much about cooking. <laughs> you can set your food limits. Let's not even get into all that. Um, now, what I want to do though, is I want to stop all that, I want to do this, I want to manually um, just chuck my time in and take it up to two minutes and I want to see once again if it heats our water and if we see any RF because it wasn't working on this particular mode with Sam for some reason and look at that, she's right. So when I do a jet start, it works, uh, when I do a uh, uh, a program start uh, it is definitely the magnetrons not cutting in not doing anything so that actually doesn't make me think the magnetrons as faulty as I first thought it might be uh, there's certainly something intermittent that's not um, but it's it could even be more of a software error but as you can see our spectrum analyzer tells us straight away that we're wasting our time here um, so I'll just pause for a sec so you don't have to watch this whole thing so we're at the um, 34 second mark and look at that it did try it had a little, I heard it actually cut in, which makes me think, you know, let's get back in there and check some connections and look at that. Halfway through the cycle, it's decided to click back in. Now, when I see this, when I see it sort of surging that high again, 
I've got to be honest, I start thinking that Magnetron is just getting old and dead. And some of you guys that probably have a bit more background in microwaves will be able to tell me what you think. But that's that's midstream, that's come good. And this is the first time I've seen it uh, do that midstream. And based on that, our water on this probably will be lukewarm, which it's, yeah, just... So it's, it's only had the last real 30 seconds, which is that burst there, uh, come through. So we've got an intermittent going on here somewhere. Um, and uh, I think uh, being Christmas Eve, we might um, might not sort of spend the whole night on it. But this has been a good way just to show you just exactly how microwaves work. And, and I'm just I'm just going to basically go through and um, just see. I just want to see one more time, just to whether. And now this is how we successfully got it to work last time. Is we just uh, jet start what we call jet started it, which is just a, a function on the machine, which is a quick. It's like a quick start. Now look at that in quick start. Look at that, it's coming. So for some reason, in quick start, it does seem to come up and, and I think we'll get a you know, hot, uh, hot a bit of water out of this, but let's see if it does it a second time. Here we go, second pass. Um, yeah, okay. And as you see, see how it redraws it? It's, it's quite different, but it's, it's still got quite a fair bit of amplitude to it, so that's, it's not like it's losing um, too much there. Uh, it's when we sort of see it just come up with just a couple little spikes here and there like the the magnetrons misfiring and just doing nothing at all so uh, um, but all you guys that uh, fix microwaves out there um, uh, <laughs> if this is a generic magnetron that I should be ordering from RS or somewhere just um, here send me a, a, an email <laughs> but um, um, as and look anyone watching this video this is interesting to me because it's RF and I get a chance to have a look at my spec and 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 have a play but uh, please do not start playing around the microwaves because Brenton said they're safe because they're far from safe. Um, but I will go in and have a little bit of a look, make sure that you know connections to the magnetron are fine. Something you know a bit intermittent going on. I don't know if we hit it a few times. Um, what's the next pass? Actually, there you go. We'll just give it a couple of hits. And, right, next pass. <laughs> um, that's the other thing in electronics that uh, you know you'll, you'll learn uh, dry joints and dry uh, joint connections, etc., etc. Um, amazing what a bit of a tap does to an old pace or a chemtronic, eh? Anyway, that's not exactly a microwave. All right, well, look, we're having a bit of fun here. It's Christmas Eve, and um, I think we're going to be without this microwave for uh, Christmas Day somehow. Uh, I think we've got a couple others floating around the property, so it's not exactly a, a total loss, but um, we'll have to go grab one of the other ones from out the other areas. Now, just out of interest, judging by the spec, N, that should be... Oh, hot. Very hot. Very hot. Very, very hot. Okay, as you can see, the steam coming off it. Um, so there we go. So when the spec and says that it's working, it's working. And when the spec and says that it's not, it's not. All right, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I, I know this is not the radio video that probably I was thinking you're doing for Christmas Eve. Maybe we'll do a Christmas Day one that's on a radio instead. Anyway, nice to um, uh, get a chance to say Merry Christmas to all the YouTube uh, subscribers, everybody out there. Have a great Christmas and uh, we'll catch you all soon. Cheers.